Good day. Today we are going to be looking at the production of a rotating magnetic field in a three-phase system. Specifically, we'll be looking at the production of a rotating magnetic field in a three-phase induction motor. Now consider that you have a three-phase supply connected to that induction motor. The motor is energized and currents are flowing in each of the phase windings. So you have current represented by IR, IY and IB flowing in the each phase. Now this can be represented sinusoidally on this graph as we have here. Right? And they can also be represented, uh, which uh, this graph is represented by these equations. IR is equal to sine theta, IY sine theta minus 120, IB sine into theta minus 240 degrees. So this, these equations are represented on this graph. Now let us consider what is happening inside this theta, uh, this theta of the three phase induction motor. Now we're going to use as our key that when the current waveforms are positive, uh, will represent what's happening in this theta by this diagram. When it is negative, when the waveform reaches a negative um, value, it's going to be represented by a dot. So this is a cross and this is a dot. Uh, when, when the waveform is at zero, then it's represented by this circle. Alright, so let us consider this point. So we are looking at um, arbitrary points along the waveforms. Right? So we're going to start here somewhere around 60 degrees and we're going to look and see what is happening to each of the waveforms. Now the red, the red phase is positive. So when it is positive, we represent it by the red phase current is positive, so when it's positive, represented by this cross. So the start here is going to be represented by a cross. Now if the start is represented by a cross, which means that the current is going away from you, the finish would represent be represented by a dot, which means that the current is now coming towards you. Alright, now let us look at what is happening with the blue phase. And the blue phase here is negative, which means that the blue start is negative, right? So there's a dot for the negative, which means that the cross here, that the finish would be, would have a cross. Alright, so this is a dot. Now let us look at what's happening with the yellow. The yellow is represented by the black here. Also notice that the yellow is, is negative. So we, for the start, we have a negative a dot here. So the finish will have a, a cross. All right. Now, remember what happens um, when a current is flowing. This, these, these are representing currents flowing in the conductors. Now remember that there are magnetic fields that are associated with the currents. All right. So with each of these, there will be a, a magnetic field surrounding it. This one would not have a magnetic field because no current is flowing. Now we can tell the direction of which the magnetic field is, is flowing by using the right hand um, rule, right? So in this case, the right hand rule would say that the, the current is flowing in the anticlockwise direction for this one. Whereas for this one, the current is flowing in the clockwise direction. The, sorry, the magnetic field is moving. The magnetic field is moving in the clockwise direction when the cross is going away from you and it is moving in the anti-clockwise direction when the, when the arrow is coming at you or the current is coming at you. Alright, now these, if you notice all of these are in the same direction so we can actually combine them to produce one large magnetic field. Similarly, these are going in, in the same direction, so we can also combine these. Right. Now, when it's going away, the direction of the magnetic field is in that 
in the clockwise direction. When it's coming at you, it's in the anti-clockwise direction, which means that it is going that way. Now, so the net direction of the magnetic field is for here, somewhere going west. So the arrow is going there. Now let's look quickly at what is happening here. Now the red phase is negative at this point. Somewhere maybe about 190, 200, somewhere around here. The red phase is now negative, which means that this is now a negative value, which means that this here is, the other end is positive. What's happening with the yellow? Yellow is positive. Yellow is positive, which means that we have a cross here, right? Positive cross, which means that the finish here is negative also. All right, what's happening with the blue? The blue is negative, right? So the blue start is negative. That's a dot here, and there's a cross here. Now notice that the orientation is changing the arrows are now the, the magnetic field is now moving in that direction and here again we can join these now these are going anti-clockwise that means they are going this way and back up right so they are going up here and these are going clockwise so they are going down and here they are going up again or on this side they are going up. So the net direction of the magnetic field is now this way. So notice that you have, when moving from 60 to about 190 degrees, we have seen a shift in the direction of the, of the magnetic field. Let me see if you're really seeing it. All right, let us do another one. Here, red is again negative. Right. At this point, yeah, about 350. Red is again negative. Um, yellow is so, which means that the red finish is all is now positive. Yellow is negative. Yellow start is negative, which means that yellow finish is positive. And blue start is positive, which means. And the finish would be negative. So quickly, if you notice the orientation again, it's now changing again. Right. And here it's going down now. Alright. It's going down. And here it's going down here also. So notice that the direction of the magnetic field has changed again. So in in these three positions, we have shown that the magnetic field has moved from, uh, you could say this would be a, a westerly direction to a, a north, northeast direction. And then now it has gone down to a south east direction so we have shown that the magnetic field is rotating so that is what I, I want you to be able to do to show that the magnetic field is rotating now if you check um, your textbook the Hughes or the Wiley they do this for each um, 30 degree inc increment so they will show you uh, the full rotation of the magnetic field so this is why we can get a combined, one combined rotating magnetic field um, from each of the three magnetic fields produced by each of these three um, phase waveform, current waveforms. Alright, so that concludes how we produce a rotating magnetic field. Uh, you can carry on by doing others. And as I said before, you could even have, if you have the space, you could have done it for each of these 30 degree increments and you will see the full rotation 
starting from zero all the way back. Alright, thank you very much.